All right. Uh, we'll do one other thing just to reiterate it again. Uh, all the yellows get a ball and all the blues get all the ball just come across the line here. So back to the tackling technique again. Just grab a ball. Okay, so I want uh, blue and the yellow to spread across the line there about four meters apart. And the same in this line. Okay. That's one v one. Ball carrier on the line. Tackle in front of him. Over here, guys. One v one. Nice and tight. Okay. Watch him. This is all I want. Hold the ball. And this is all I want. Okay. We move across. This is what I want. Ball carrier and tackler. Here we go. I don't. There should be someone with you. Someone with you. Somebody with you. Two more. Okay. We'll have to explain it because I haven't done that with you. All the balls in the line. Okay, so back to basics again to finish off tonight. Pass the technique. Alright? Keep walk, walk. Big in the pocket. Okay? Move to the left or right. Move to the left. Just moving, look. That's all I want. Alright? And then I'm going to say tackle. And then I try my little tackle. And then I'm going to say block. Move to the left or right. Okay, so you're Alright, so make it simple. One, you just come at the player half pace, okay? Just come at the half pace, okay? And I'm just moving with him, okay? Two is tackle, okay? Two is tackle, open hand, okay? Just go, just fall back, grab it. And three is gone, okay? Simple, okay. keep it tight. So if you run around the place, if you want the tackler, if you want the coach, if you at technique, good work, okay? Small around, coach. Have a look at this one, we're going to bring this back. I asked you about out, would you try and improve as a player after tonight's session? And be honest, did you improve? Yes or no? Okay, good. All right? And that's, that's all you have to say. All right? And you know if they've improved. Okay, but you need to ask them as well. And if they say maybe yes, you need to get a little bit deeper, or it might be three lads, you might pull the side with them. Look, you just really need to work your footwork or keeping your eyes up. Well done, guys. Okay, keep your warm down because that was a good session. Okay, go with Kevin, guys. Get money coaches for a second, then we take any last minute questions. You see the you know. Get money, guys. Of course, this is no. Stay as long as you want to. No. Don't look at the, they were just in the boat, so they're in the plane. Well, what do you do? 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 Well, what do
Right? If I'm doing that, okay, I'm doing pushing, and then I might catch the ball. Okay. But if you can get your players to be off with that, okay. So I say lightweight boxing. Heavyweight boxing is this, and you cannot pack him with this because he had a football, as you know. This from the boots are the only two things you can't pack with. Every, hold the ball again. Every other part of your body, okay, you can use, okay? Now, I'm not pulling you, I'm not doing anything, but I can go in with my legs, and it's in an off, okay, light, or lightweight boxer at the end, okay? But if I go with the fist, even if it's holy, okay, it's just going to go, like, great tackle job. It's not, because you have a fist on the rest of the evening, okay? So you can go as much as you want. The key is, are you cute enough to, the hands in, hands out, is the most common new phrase. Yeah. But if you're going to go, it's going to So, again, as you know, okay, you know, that kind of thing you can't be waiting. Right? But you should break it down for your players that, you know, even senior guys don't realize that you can't use the fist. And then they hit the fist in full park and they look at the ref, what did I do? I got the ball, but you can't do it. All right? Good question. Any other questions? Connor played in full park more than me. No, he can answer that. If you're a defender and, and if you're a right footed forward, would I, I'd normally be going with my, uh, I'm leading with my right foot. Is that right so that you're. Right foot is leading, so you don't have the opportunity to take it or hand pass it. So then right. let's just, it's always easier to get yeah. so tell me what so, you so if you're a, if you're a forward, right, and you're right footed, and I know you're right footed, yeah. okay? So I, would I normally be leading then with my right? Of course, you back like this, because now you can't, you know, you might not be as strong if you want to take it, or hand, you, you, I'm forcing you to hand pass it with your left, or kick it with your left. Okay. So I by, by pushing you this way. So where is the goal? Uh, okay, I'm assuming I'm in the middle here, right? Because I know. Well, tell me where the goal is. Because we did this straight, straight behind right. me. So yeah. where, where am I most, the most dangerous to you? On the outside or on the inside? Uh, well, probably over here. So yeah. you're happy if I take you on the outside, okay? Yeah. And that's fine. Yeah. So where are you pushing me to? Yeah. Okay. So exactly. and I probably should be going back this way, but uh, so I'm also right thinking about right. what way you're going to kick the ball. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you figured yeah. me out. I'm yeah. down the right foot. So that's yeah. marked straight away. You know okay. w which way I want to go. So yeah. You should be turning me back this way. Yeah. So I have yeah. to go this way. Yeah. Okay. I probably have a little bit weak. Okay. 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 There's a kind of a stigma, Gary, there's a kind of a stigma about defenders. You know, I find that as a defender, I'm always standing up for defenders as well. And it's, it's not a nice part of the game. It's a brilliant part of the game. Um, and you should be encouraging all your players. Like, you know, like if you could dispossess, like it's a skill. Defending is a skill. But unfortunately, people think that I'm just a stopper or a blocker. You can take the ball off someone's knee and then transition it quick to get a score. Okay, you know, Conor Callan, I get the praise, Conor Mullally, Michael, but he's doing the job, and Conor Callan knows where it came from. The players will always appreciate where the skill comes from. You've got to encourage your players to tackle, you know, big, dispossess. It's a great part of the game, you know, and if you can get your forward to do it, that's the team that all the way. The best tackler is going to look good. Well, I, I would say that, so if you're trying to say yeah, things, so this is the side line, right? Yeah. right, and you're, I just want to right. you're right foot, okay? Yeah. So if you turn inside me here, if yeah. you keep going the straight line, you're in towards that goal. Mm -hmm. For me as a defender, mm -hmm. yeah, even though you're right, because as a defender, my, my biggest thing is I must protect the goalkeeper, all right? I must not let shots get in there, so I protect my goalkeeper with my life. So I, I'd rather push you, because if I can push you down that side, like, even though you have a German on your right foot, so how many times do you score the side on over the bar from there? You might be fantastic, and if you are, you're in the back. But I'd rather you take the shot there, 
Yeah. I think an important part there is the question earlier was he in the middle of the pitch, but that's an important one as well. So you have to use different scenarios. That's what it's going to be different in a lot of areas. If you have a soil, you can use the higher rock. But if you're in the middle of the pitch, you can get him onto the pitch and push him onto the weekend. If you have a soil on there, it doesn't matter if you turn up on your feet and you like it. And so it's in the second pitch, you try to score from the weekend. See, we did something similar to that in the second Should be like you know up to that age, like that's where your academy and nursery is. It, it should be it should be half and half. But as you're getting into obviously ten teams, like, yeah. so you have to obviously do more than that. But um, if you can, half and half, you can. But you can do you need the activation at the start. You know that activation. You can bring in your left hand, right hand, hand pass. Just you can do lines, lines, lines. Just kick it, kick it, kick it, hand pass it, hand pass it, block and left, block and right. You can do all that in pairs, and there's no big group of kids hanging around. What is it like, turn? Like, you know, try. Like, that's the best investment you can get is to have, have enough football. Mm -hmm. And have footballs any day of the week from home, mm -hmm. just because each player can get such a punch. I'm not going to lie, I'd probably encourage it. If you think the fact that, you know, once you're like, playing in the end of the world, like, you lose the game because you've captured that corner, you don't think you're getting the last six weeks, so be it. It's not the end of the world. Like, we're trying to put that player in the development, so we will be focusing on those things you can do in the grass, some type of skills more than really the whole season for an all day, that way you can't get the ball down, that's what we would say, focusing on the skills. The wall ball is like, when you finish the ball, you can get the ball, you can
but so much more, but like if you try with the flavor and I'm sorry we can't stay longer, but we will come back to what we want to come back again. Any one more question in there? And the lady? Good question about the music very well. Any question? Well? I just thought there's a big difference between the liquid and movement. You know, when we're doing it in a small sport, we're doing it in small grades, all of that it happens really well. Yeah, when we're doing it here at the end, you know, three movements are really well. But they struggle with the movement, you know what I mean? When there's bigger spaces and big movements, you know, how do you, how do you move their feet? There's a big difference in them, like, you know, the amount of goals that were going in there, like maybe five out of ten, but when you see them in small grades, you made eight out of ten. You see them at the end there, eight out of ten, but when you see the movement, struggling, I thought maybe five out of ten, but it, building it up as blocks as you did there and bringing in the movement is, is a big difference. Well, it's in very, it's very good, you know, two months of that. You know, which is about 13 sessions. I'm telling you, you wouldn't recognize them in 13 weeks. It's just been basic skill. They were moving and they were out of breath, you know, and, but they were actually getting fit on the most of the time. But that's, that's it. Is that all right? Thanks, Alan. Thanks, Alan. Thanks, Alan. Thanks, Alan. Thanks, Alan.